Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rockhound. Today is actually the same day as the one I've just posted last week. It is the Red Hill, but I'm looped around on the front side. So the other day, earlier today, we were over there hiking up that hill on the back side. This time we're gonna come over here and explore this area. I wanna see how it differs over here or if it's basically the same. So I'm excited to explore this part of it. So this is basically part two but I'm posting it a week later. So let's get on up there and get at it. So I just kind of beelined it to get to the base of the hills because there's a lot of little stuff out there, but I wanted to get time back up to the source. Anyway, already seeing some interesting things right there. Let me get the macro lens on and we'll take a closer look. So we got this one right here. It's like quartz and they got that green. Cool. And this is really dark. It's got the green, it's like green jasper next to the agate. Those are interesting. Maybe we'll get some cool combos here. All right, we might be getting some red jasper here. A little bit. Yeah, it's got red and a few other colors in it. Okay. Definitely seeing more jasper over here than in the first area, getting that green in it, as well as some more variety. But mostly the more jasper and less so much of the agate chalcedony. Oh, that one was nice. The botrytal in it. Cool. But yeah, a lot more jasper. So you're kind of getting this like jasper agate mix going on. Quite a bit of it. That's interesting. Getting more of these nodules of the kind of agate. But in this case, I'm not seeing the banding, so we'll just call it chalcedony. Oh, and there's a very clear one. Look at that. <laughs> That's cool. And here's another one. See, it's kind of like these long tubular structures that are forming in the volcanics. This is kind of these long air bubbles. And they do really have cool forms. That has a little bit of white, so there may be some uh, nice layering over here as well. So this is a really good example I want to talk about. Here's the volcanic rock. Look at all the air bubbles. And you can see where it fills in with the chalcedony, agate, that stuff. Yeah, this is a really nice example of what I've been talking about. And found what looks like a nice piece of the green, Jasper. Cool. So it looks like the cool thing in this spot are these cool shaped ones. You get those really cool structures. And I spotted what looks like some more green Jasper over here. Ooh, that's a really nice one. See, I'd like a big piece of green Jasper like that. Okay, here's something different. It's a layer of the agate, but look at the orange in it. And yeah, I think it'll look really cool. I'm gonna try and cut into it to kind of expose it because I think it might look really cool. Nice, something new and different. So here's some of the green Jasper with little bits of red in it. That's really cool, isn't it? Hopefully you guys are seeing that. The red is kind of hard to see in that dark green, but cool. Okay, so I'm in this little wash area and I'm getting these much bigger pieces of the Jasper. So I'm thinking the Jasper is probably weathering out of somewhere um, further up in this area. And this is where you're gonna get the better Jasper. Yeah, just seeing lots of pieces of it in here. Ooh, this one's nice and green, look at that. I really like the green in that one. There's a nice piece of Jasper. No, oh, good size too. I like the color in that one. Once again, I'm not sure how well the color's showing up for you guys, but it is pretty stuff. Here's this big piece of Jasper all washed off. Love that red and green mixture in there. Cool. Another piece of the Jasper. I probably won't keep too much of this stuff just because it is so dark. But it's nice to have a few good pieces of it. Here's this piece of Jasper all washed off. This one is really dark. But that side's pretty cool. Look at that one. That's pretty. Look at that circle shape to it in the red and the green over here. That might have to do with the uh, air bubbles in the, in the volcanics. That is cool. That is a neat piece. I think I may have just found something really nice. Whoa, look at that one. 
So this would have been a large air bubble filled in and look at that quartz pocket it had made. Wow. See, I want to get a full one of those unbroken. That would be so cool. And it's among, among all of this Jasper. Yeah, so once you're in the right spot, this Jasper is really abundant. It is everywhere. And you still get a decent amount of the little Chalcedony nodules. Here's this all washed off. Look at that. Ah, I'd love to find a big whole one of those and cut it open. Wouldn't that be awesome? With all that going on in there. Really cool. That looks neat. Oh, it's like where the agate's mixing with the jasper. It's really neat. And I think I see another one right here. Or maybe just jasper. Still, very nice though. Found our first one over here with the nice white layering and banding in it. It continues. I am now beginning to see the boulders of Jasper. Goodness. Wow. And they're really nice too. Like, they're pretty cool to look at. I just, I don't need anything that big. <laughs> I really don't. <laughs> But they are neat. Looks like we might have a good-sized agate nodule right here. Oh, man. And it had the layers in it. I wish it hadn't broken in half. But I can still cut into it and expose those. Ah, that's really cool. That is a nice one. Here's this one cut open. I kind of went at a diagonal on this one. And there's the layers. Really nice. Okay, this is the kind of jasper I want to find more of. Lots of green and then some agate inside of it banding. Wow, that's beautiful stuff. Well, I can't wait to get that all cleaned off. I think this is going to be amazing. Oh, <laughs> I really like this place. And here's this huge piece of jasper and agate all washed off. Now, I can't wait to cut this big thing because I'm pretty sure once I cut into it, it's going to look amazing. With that mixture of the dark green and a little bit of red jasper and then the agate going through it in different places. Ah, can't wait. Look, there's a piece of one that broke. That cool layering and then the quartz crystals. I think this area might end up being better once I can get up to where more of these are coming out. Okay, definitely in this spot, more of them seem to have the quartz crystals growing in the center with that banding around it. So... That's how it's a little different from where I was over there. Looks like we got a decent piece right here. Oh yeah, nice. And just so you know, the jasper is becoming more and more abundant. I've seen boulders all over the place, small pieces everywhere. This is definitely the jasper zone. Just found this one. Nice, that should look good cut open. Here's this one cut open. Nice, it's got those cool lines in it. Looks like we have a decent one right here. Yeah, it's okay. I've seen better. Oh, I think I found a killer piece. Let's get that out. Uh, not quite as thick as I thought it was going to be down, but still very nice. Uh, and that's going to have those layers all through it. <laughs> yes. Good day. So I almost missed this one, it was so dark, but look, it is one, and it's got crystals all through it. It was just so dark, I almost didn't see it. Okay, I need to be more careful what I'm looking at. Ooh, and I think I see something right here as well. Yeah, another piece. We'll probably have to cut that one too. Here's this crystal pocket all washed off. It looks pretty cool. There's some green under there. Wonder if we could maybe slice into a little bit. I don't know. I think I'll keep it like this for now though. Here's this one cut open. Uh, not a lot going on in that one. Still looks cool though. Looks like we might have another good one right here. All right, it's kind of flat. So if it has any layering in it. Um, can't tell. We'll have to cut it open and see if there's anything. 
Another good one. It's half of one. Look at that. All of these were in this area, so this is a good little area right here. I see another one poking out right here. How good is it? How big is it? Let's find out. Oh, it's big. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that. Oh, I can't wait to cut that, and I think it's too big for the saws I have. Dang it. Well, I can at least clean it off and get a better look at it, but oh, I want to cut it. There's this all washed off. It looks really cool. So, have to cut into that one at some point in time as well, but too big right now. So I, caught, I saw this cool little agate nodule, thought I'd pick it up, and then when I went over here to try and move this one, it looks like it might be big. I might need my hand pick for this one. Oh, not huge, but it's complete, and that's actually a good size because I can cut that. Exciting. Here's this one cut open. Oh, a little bit going through the center of it. Another nice little one to cut open. Here's this one cut open with that little bit of white there. Oh, apparently that's about all there was. Oh, there's a little bit of stuff going on in there. Looks like we got another one right here. Oh yeah, complete. We'll cut into that one. Here's this one cut open. Oh, it's got a little bit of white right there in the middle. Cool. Looks like we might have something nice under here. Oh yeah, that's good size. Huh. You see the structure of it like that? It almost looks like there used to be a crystal right there. It might have just been part of the lava flow, but... Huh. I see something poking out here. What do we got? Ooh, decent size. Oh yeah. That's pretty good size. Oh, you can see the layering in it. That'll be a good one. Nice. Here's this one all washed off. It's got good lines going through it. Haven't cut it yet. I'll, I'll cut it later at some point. All right, I see a couple of nodules in this area, so let's start with this one right here. Oh. 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 <laughs> That'll be a good one to cut open. I love those pits in the side of it. Makes it look like an asteroid or something. It's so cool. And then I saw another one, smaller, over here. That'll be a fun one to cut open though. And what do we got here? Okay, it's just kind of a vein piece. I probably won't keep that one. It doesn't look that good. Here's this little thing cut open. Whoa! That's good for a little one. Look at those layers. Nice. Looks like we might have something interesting right here. Yeah, it's the agate, more of a vein. But I am some seeing some layering and banding. So that should be a nice one to cut into. Found another good one to cut open. And then not far from it, but pretty close to it, was this one. Okay, broken piece of one. Some quartz crystals right there. Cool. Here's this one cut open. Nice. It's got some good lines in it. Actually, it goes like that, doesn't it? That is a good one. Saw something under that rock, started digging, and yay, another one to cut open. Here's this one cut open. Oh, so you got lines, and then it almost looks like little bubbles or something, but it's probably little bits of growth in there. Cool. Looks like we got a nice one on the side here. Well, just a little one. Looks pretty cool, though. Oh, and... A little piece that looks interesting. I see another little one that we'll want to cut open. Nice. So here's one where it's kind of like a vein with the volcanic still around it. That's kind of cool. And I see something over here. Yep, just a just a piece of it. So this shows how difficult they can be sometimes. See, it's the same color as the volcanic rock around it but the shape gives it away. This is the agate that filled in the gas pocket. Look for that shape.
Oh boy, is this the biggest one I've found so far? Look at that. Wow. Look at that one. Oh, I hope there's, I can see what looks like some white deeper in, so if I can cut this, this could be epic. Biggest complete one I've found. And here's this awesome thing all washed off. That's so cool. So I'm debating whether to cut it or leave it as it is. It just, it looks so cool. But I kind of want to cut into it. So, well, if I do cut it at some point in the future, then you'll get to see it cut then. But for now, I'm just going to hold on to it as it is. <laughs> so cool. Another nice one to cut open. Here's this one cut open. Oh, okay. Interesting. Not as much going on in that one, but you still got some things. Another good sized one to cut. And I think I see one right over here. Hiding under this. Yep. Another good sized one to cut. Here's this one cut open. Oh. That's interesting going on there in the center. Pretty cool. Here's this one cut open. Oh, it's got a few lines right there. Otherwise, not a whole lot going on. Here's a really interesting looking one. I'm trying to see what's going on in there. It looks like it was a bunch of quartz crystals that are gone, leaving behind these impressions. It looks cool though. I like that, cool. Look at that, you can see the green coming through that. Wow. So, to cut or not to cut? That is the question. Here's this one with that little green in there cut open. And, okay, it's a pocket that had a little bit of green on the edge. Whether that's from the volcanics or from lichen growing in it, I can't quite tell. Cool though. And of course, on my way down to the vehicle, things keep showing up. Look in there. Look at that brown. Huh. Very cool. And of course, with a heavy backpack heading back to the vehicle, I spot something like that. Oh man. Nice, look at that. <laughs> Another great one. Here's this one all washed off. Of course, it looked really nice right there. I do want to cut this at some point, but it is definitely too big to cut right now. So I spotted this. Look, it's got a black crust to it, and there's quartz in the middle. And then look what I spotted not far from it. The same black shape. Oh, and it's got a quartz pocket in it. Here's this one all washed off. That nice crystal pocket there. That is a pretty cool one. Here's this one cut open. Ooh, nice. <laughs> one single line right there, that's cool. Uh, I like the kind of the plume stuff there, or whatever's going on there. Very nice. Here's this Jasper nodule cut open. Ooh. Okay, so it's the Jasper, and then you can see where there's agate. And right between them, it gets really cool. That is neat. Here's this one cut open. Unfortunately, it had a fracture going through it, and it broke on me. Oh, but it's beautiful inside, isn't it? Too bad it had that fracture. Oh well, that happens. Here's this one cut open. Nice, it's got those lines in it. Here's this one cut open. Oh nice, got some lines and some other interesting things going on. Here's this one cut open. Not much going on in there. The few lines are very faint. Here's this one cut open. Oh nice, it's got the lines in it and some of that cool green stuff. Here's this one cut open. Whoa, that's interesting. It's got some lines, but then it's got like other stuff going on. Pretty cool. Here's this one cut open. Oh, nice. It's 
It's got the crystals growing towards the center of it. That's a pretty good looking agate. Here's this one cut open. Oh, nice. That's a nice one for a small one. Here's this one cut open. Oh, not a lot inside, but uh, up near the edge, it's kind of cool. Here's this one cut open. Oh, little pocket in the middle. Here's this one cut open. Nice, about what I thought it was gonna look like. And it didn't disappoint. Here's this one cut open. You can see the nice flat layer there, so you know it's gonna have layers in it. And oh, there they are. Nice layers. Here's this one cut open. Like how that's nice and flat like that. Should have layers in it. And it does. Look at that. Nice layers. Here's this one cut open. Oh cool, it's got a little pocket in it. And look at all that green stuff going on down there. That's pretty cool. Here's this one cut open. Actually it goes like that, doesn't it? There we go. Ooh, oh nice. Ooh, look at the plumes coming through right there. Oh, well, this is a really good one. Oh, there's so much going on in there. You got the layers, you've got quartz crystals, you've got plumes. Kind of those stalactite growths. Such a cool piece. And I'm back at the vehicle. What a day. Because remember, this video and the last video were all on the same day. Wow. What an amazing place. What an experience. And so many cool stuff. And there were a bunch of little ones that I didn't even film because there were so many of them. And I just cut them all open. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I love this place. Can't wait to come back out again. Still want to see what else is hiding out here. Until next time, remember, there is treasure everywhere.